<laughs> you remind us January 6th is a good time to remember the same right wing politicians and media who claim it was really BLM and Antifa or Antifa are also the ones who do not want it investigated. Yes, you would think they would want a yeah. BLM completely investigated for January 6th. Interesting. Uh, yeah, they don't want us to know the history. Look, I mean, people keep saying they don't want us to know the history of segregation and institutionalized racism. They don't want us to know the history of last year. Yeah. They're very yeah. terrified of facts, these guys. But you know what? I, I'm glad the media covered it so much. And I want to say that it's not really so much that the media is covering the, the MAGA thugs in the hats right. who tried to illegally overthrow the election. I, I wish the media would pay more attention to the MAGA thugs in cheap suits. Thank in you. In the Congress who tried to legally overthrow the election later that same night. I that to me is much scarier than a bunch of yahoos beating yeah. up cops on the steps of the Capitol. Yeah. These weird monkeys and their obedience to Trump that we're still having to deal with in our Congress. I mean, how much more do we need, John? Mo Brooks, it, you know, he wore, first of all, a bulletproof vest. Right. So, right, yeah. he knew it was going to be a peaceful tourist visit, right? But he... Um, oh, yeah, the tourists. He, a former, like where the Japanese were tourists at Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Remember that? Oh. Yeah. A former staffer for Kevin McCarthy uh, made an explosive claim about Mo Brooks' reaction to the riots. He said, as we escaped to the chamber to what sounded like gunshots to the secure location, I think people were still scared. Members and staff were still scared, not sure what was happening. Uh, some members, though, had a different reaction. Mo Brooks, for example, was glad. He was cheering on the fact that the 117th Congress had started this way. That was much to the dismay of others in the room. I mean, John, how much of this needs to be on tape? for us to get you know start getting convictions up the ladder were you where did you come down on garland's speech and and uh you know where you are on on uh, just i mean glenn kirshner obviously we just had on less than an hour ago is heartened by garland garland's speech and thinks we are going to get justice in 2022 I mean, you know I, I mean the merrick garland speech was kind of like a new bob dylan album we all parsed every line and wondered what's he really trying to say with this uh <laughs> I was encouraged by it. The words at any level were very encouraging to me. But, you know, I'm still waiting for someone to go to jail for Iran-Contra. Yeah. I'm still waiting for someone to go to jail for the lies that led to the Iraq war. So y you know what happens with this sort of thing. So seeing Dick Cheney yesterday being <laughs> congratulated oh, yeah. oh, by it's, Democrats. It's great to have like... a moral Republican, isn't it? Yeah, great to have a moral Republican showing up with, with his daughter. You know, like that's how evil it's become. I mean, I, Tucker, but that, exactly. This is yeah. what Trump yeah. has done, not just to the country, the Republican Party. Peter tweets, zero House Republicans except Liz Cheney, former President Dick Cheney and his daughter were the only two Republicans present in the House chamber attending a speech. Speaker Pelosi's speech commemorating the January 6th uh, insurrection. I mean, making us love Cheney's yeah. is the worst thing that has ever happened. And Dick, Dick Cheney was only there because he thought it was an occupation. That's the only right. reason he even showed right. up. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a special kind of evil when, you know, we have this national amnesia and we're forgetting how bad Bush and Cheney are because yeah. Trump was that damn bad. That's... That's terrifying to me, seeing liberals, yeah. seeing Ellen cozying up with George W. Bush at a football game. I mean, my God, that's Reagan's lasting legacy, amnesia of the entire <laughs> country. Well, you, I, you, as the Stephanie Miller Show historian, you said on Twitter, Trumpism began with a racist lie about a POTUS not being legitimate. Trumpism ended with a violent lie about POTUS not being yeah. legitimate. I mean, it really is a magical full circle, isn't it? Well, I'm just glad that there was so much coverage of the date. Uh, I'm glad we all survived the one-year anniversary of January 6th. I'll never forget where I was when the one-year anniversary of January 6th happened. It, to me, you know, it, it all comes down to can the Democrats keep this going? Because I, I don't really care what happens. I don't need to see Donald Trump in jail. Okay. Oh, what I, I do, do want to see, what no, what I do want to see is high Democratic voter turnout in. 2022. Yeah. You know, we're going to do probably 100 sexy liberal dates this year, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. And I think we should call mm -hmm. our tour like Keep It Blue in 22 yes. uh, for our 100th of dates because Oh, the Blue Balls the tour. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. I'm this just I'm all, spitballing with you. I don't know. I, I love it. But, but this is all to drive up turnout. I, I think yeah. the longer this committee can keep us remembering the terrorist attack, uh that's going to motivate people to show up in the polls. That's what scares me. You know, a lot of I things by accident we just come up with. And I'm just saying we may have just come up with the name of it, spitballing Blue you and balls. I. Well, because we Blue have balls. a lot of pent up uh, frustration and tension from the last five years. And we need a, a blue a release. A tsunami release explosion. Mm -hmm. Sexy liberal Blue Balls we tour. Make it, we should make it formal and make it the big Blue Ball tour. Yes. <laughs> I like this. I like okay. big balls. You like big balls. <laughs> okay. We all like big I balls. I cannot lie. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to say, though, as far as Trump, if you liberals, 
If you liberals throw Trump in jail and deprive me of the chance to see him lose the popular vote for a third time, I will never forgive you. I'm sorry, but I need to see him lose the popular vote a third time. I don't want a competent fascist. Well, I don't want uh, a Ron DeSantis getting the nomination. I, I have no problem with it being Donald Trump sans Twitter as the GOP nominee. Yeah. Believe me. We need you on that wall to make us- And smaller and smaller and let him tear the party apart. Let him do it. We need you on that wall to point things out like that Hannity looks like a Flintstones vitamin wearing Fisher Price person hair. Yes. Well, that, is, that is that uh, is eerily accurate. Yeah. He is Fred That's Flintstone. Satire. Me and me and Mort Saul. That's what we do.